Hi guys, so today we are just gonna do a really quick review over everything that we've learned in um, topic nine, because we talked about comparing numbers. Remember we were introduced to those symbols about greater than, less than, and equal to. So we're just gonna kind of review it real quick. And you actually will not have homework today. All you have to do is take a picture of the sheets that you did if you did it in your book or if you, it'll be in Seesaw if you wanna just write on it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start right up here. And remember the first one they kind of helped us with, it says you can use blocks to show one more, one less, 10 more, or 10 less than any number. So look right here, it says 34. So when we look at the number 34, remember it's 30 in four. So 30 stands for three tens. It's got a three in the tens column. And then it's got four ones. So what they're saying is I could see that this is 34. One less than 34 I could do is just take one of them off and then I would be left with 33 if I counted them. You'd be left with that 33, okay? All right, and then it says 10 more. So what I could do to show 10 more, I could just draw another rod and then I could count it and say 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So I could write 44 right there. All right, now we're gonna do something a little bit different, okay? It wants us to use blocks or we can use our number chart to find these numbers. It says, if I start at the number 87, I'm gonna look at the number 87 and I'm gonna circle it on my hundreds chart. What's one more than 87? Remember, one more is always gonna to be to the right because we're moving on. So one more would be 88, very good. What would one less be than 37? So I'm gonna circle 88 so we know what it was. One less would be to the left and it would be 86. Very good, 86. Which is eight tens and six ones. What would be 10 more than 87? 10 more. Remember, if I'm adding more, I'm gonna go down because the numbers get bigger. So 10 more would be 97. So let's look at that for just one second, okay? In this number in 87, I had eight tens and seven ones. If I want 10 more, I'm just adding another 10. So instead of eight tens, I have nine tens for 90 and then I still have that seven tens. What if I took a 10 away from 87? What's 10 less? Remember, I'm gonna move up on the number chart and it would be 77. Or I could just think, okay, 87 is eight tens and seven ones. If I take one of those tens away, I would have seven tens and seven ones. And the seven tens and seven ones is the number 77. And then it just showed us that you can use a number chart to help you find what's one more, one less, 10 more, 10 less. We just talked about that. One more than 48 would be 49. Very good. What about 10 less than 38? Am I gonna go up or down? I'm gonna go up, because I need to take away that 10, and it would be 38, very good. All right, so now it says one less than 37. Hmm, if I have 37 right here, I'm gonna circle it. One less would be before, so it would be to the left, and it would be 36, very good. So a three and a six, good job. One more than 37 would be to the right, because it's gonna be a bigger number and it would be 38, very good. One more would be 38, good job. 10 less than 55, so I have to find 55. 10 less, which way am I gonna go? Hmm. If I go by tens, I either go up or I go down. So 10 less is gonna go up because it's gonna go to the smaller numbers. So what it would be 10 less would be 45. Very good. Now I want 10 more. So remember tens go up or down. And if we go down for more tens, it would be 65. 10 more would be 65. 
Very good. All right. Oh, and here's those new symbols that we talked about this week. It says you can compare numbers using, now look, this one's open towards the bigger number. So this is going to be the greater than symbol because you're saying the first number is greater than the next number. And then what about the symbol? The symbol is pointed at the front. So it is less than. Very good. And then this is the equal sign. So remember, if it's pointed for, like if it's open forward, it means greater than. 33 is, it's showing you greater than 24. If it's got the point at the front and it's open towards the next one, number, it means less than. 24 is less than 33. All right, so here we go. Are you ready? This is a little bit different. We're going to write the words and the symbol. So 46 and 26. Is 46 greater than 26 or is it less than 26? It's greater than, so I would just write, and see the words are right here for me, I would write, greater than, it's kind of hard to write with a mouse, greater than, and since it's greater than, my symbol, remember, is going to be open towards the front, because it's open towards that bigger number, so I would start at the bigger number, Come back to the point at the smaller number and come back to the bigger number. All right, 25 is greater than or less than or equal to 52. 25 is a smaller number, so it is less than. So I'm going to write those words less and then then. Very good. Less than. So 25 is less than, so how am I going to write that symbol? Remember, my point always starts at the bigger number, so I need to start at 52. I come down to the point to the lower number, and I go back to the bigger number. So 25 is less than 52. All right, you guys have done an amazing job learning about greater than, less than, and equal to. And so we are going to, when we move on to the next topic, we're going to still kind of be talking about comparing those numbers in those ways, all right? You guys have done an amazing job, and I want you to have a great weekend.